welcome to a new video. It's the day before the Christmas mini sessions. I'm gonna set up my decor. Tomorrow I'm gonna have Christmas cookies, Christmas movie, movies, no, Christmas music, and Christmas minis. Okay, so I'm building up my Christmas decor. If you wanna see like a more detailed like uh, setting up, I have another video where I am setting it up, testing it out, and making my ad for the mini sessions. Now I'm just looking at this Instagram photo of my kids modeling the background to see which items I used last time and to put them kind of like in exactly the same spot. Now the only thing is I'm missing one off-white blanket that was in that basket. Uh, I probably brought it home, so I'm just gonna check at home if I have it. So that's why it's always good to set up your decor the day before, especially for mini sessions. Um, also, if you have any last minute wrinkles in your background, uh, hanging it overnight might get them out or um, you have to iron your background if that's possible. Anyway, this fabric doesn't have any wrinkles. I'll put the link to the backdrop in the des description. So my, I think my backdrop is set up pretty much exactly the same the way it was when I did when I made the photos for my ad. So people know that this background is here, but I want to surprise them with a second background, which we can also use for free as a bonus. Um, so I'm gonna try and set it up. It's gonna be hopefully a background of just Christmas lights. I have this little curtain of lights. I bought it last year. I didn't use it because I didn't do Christmas minis last year, but I might do it next year with just a simple off-white background with lights in the back. Um, so then if people use it this year already and it looks lovely, I have my photos for next year's ad. Um, and I mean, bigger chance that they will order more files, which will, um, you know, turn over a higher profit. So let's go. It's this net light of lights and I bought it last year, I think at the little, um, let me see how do you call it, micro bulk, bulb light net. And what I like is that the thread is not green, because often it's green. These ones are transparent. Yeah, so tomorrow I wanna have some Christmas music on, maybe some Christmas cookies to get everybody into the Christmas mood. I told people to come five minutes before their assigned time slot, nothing more, nothing less. Um, I've given them the address of the studio. I'm gonna send them an extra reminder tomorrow. They already paid for the session. They're bringing their own Christmas pajamas. And I think I even wrote that they should already wear their pajamas by the time they get here. touch it and it's gonna be moment of truth to see if it works oh there you go so i think this can be like a nice second backdrop so here we go it's the day of the christmas minis i'm going to put some cookies on the table i was looking for christmas cookies but i couldn't find them because we have like a different kind of santa claus here in the netherlands and we celebrate it on the 5th of december so most of the cookies most of the chocolates that you can buy right now are related to that holiday but it's very similar to christmas uh, so i got some of those cookies i have some christmas music on and my decors are ready so now it's just waiting for the first customers who should be here in 25 minutes so let's set up here you can see already the main setup and then I'm gonna turn on these Christmas lights and then maybe use it as a second setup. And here we've got the Christmas cookies. Here we go with the cookies. I'm gonna set up the camera, get the softbox ready, and then we're good to go. to turn my camera on for the first mini sessions uh, but it was great because I had three sisters in here um, so yeah like two older sisters like teenagers and then one younger sister um, and I photographed them before during the cake smith session of the younger sister uh, but it was really great to photograph them again and they had like matching pajamas the older ones had the same matching pajamas 
Uh, the younger one had a really cute Christmas outfit as well. Um, they brought like Christmas cups so they could pretend to hold the cup. They pretend to re read the book. And then she brought, brought like a Christmas present almost and then pretending to open it. We also used the Christmas lights. I have them turned on right there. Um, so that was really great. So now there is a girl coming. She's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to lower the Christmas lights. Well, I might keep them up and then I ask the mom wants to be in a photo with the child. That might be better. I'll just keep them high for now. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying, gonna try and leave the camera on. age to be in photos so she was sitting she was crawling a little bit i also placed her in a bowl because it's just one baby uh, you have a little more time like 20 minutes sounds really short but you can take quite a lot of photos uh, we took photos of the girl with both her parents in the christmas decor and then we went to the bonus decor and we took some more photos of the parents holding her um yeah she was just smiling and looking very pretty in her christmas outfit um so now i have a girl coming in well no, I think now I have two sisters coming in um, and then I have another girl coming in who is like three well the sisters who are coming in I have to check but I think the youngest one is like two and the other one is seven and then the other one is three and then I have two big brothers coming in with their little sister who is like a year and a half and they are already 12 and 14 um, so it's a fun mix um, yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah, I mentioned to the parents that um, they had to be here five minutes before their assigned time slot. That's working really well. They're not coming too early, they're not coming too late. And I asked them if they could already dress the kids at home before coming here, because uh, that saves a lot of time, because dressing up kids can, usually take, can, can take quite a long time. So they're all coming in already dressed up, um, and then you can just start immediately. Um, so I can actually slow down my speed a little bit because I'm finishing well on time with the sessions. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, with the older kids you can have them pretend read a book, um, play with the rocking horse, something like that. Uh, the younger ones just sit and smile. Um, so yeah, it's going great. I don't know if you could see but like um, the younger girl the two-year-old didn't really want to be in the photo she wanted to be close to her mom um, so what I did is I prepared a cup of tea for the mom I was just in the kitchen making her tea and I asked the mom if she could just sit with her daughter on the decor and just play with the train and um, so that she could get used to the decor um, and I was just in the kitchen because sometimes when you sit there as a photographer it's quite intimidating for a young child especially when you have the camera in front of your face like sometimes they will smile at me when i'm like talking with them or uh playing peekaboo or singing a song but as soon as i have the camera in front of my face they'll just freeze um yeah because of the camera so now i was just preparing a cup of tea for the mom which i usually don't do during the mini session because they're only here for 20 minutes but it helped the girl to relax um, and then she was actually fine sitting with her sister in the decor um, We did ask the big sister if she could step aside so I could take some photos of the younger girl alone But she did not appreciate that so I don't have photos of her alone in the set But I do have photos of the older sister alone and of the sisters together and the most important Are the photos of the sisters together and they work so that's great uh, so now a girl will be coming who's three years old and then um Afterwards, it's just one more family, so it goes super fast.
three-year-old girl. She's been here before. Very easy to photograph. Yeah, first she wanted to be close to her mom, of course, because they have to get to know you a little bit. Um, they don't really get to know you in five minutes, but you can make them feel comfortable in five minutes. Um, so we were just playing a little bit, talking, um, reading the book, playing with the rocking horse. The cookies are a very good idea because like these are called like paper nota, so they're like Dutch spice, tiny, tiny cookies. Um, so yeah, you can give them to a child and they're happy with just tiny cookie and it takes them, I don't know, 10 seconds to eat it. So it's not like you're giving them something big, something that will make, you know, their mouth dirty, um, something that they want to finish, like candies, whatever. So it's just a tiny little cookie and um, it works wonders. Uh, because we can bribe them a little bit. Um, so now I'm just waiting for the last family. And then, um, of course, at home I have to sort out the photos, uh, select the best ones, edit them a little bit, upload them in a gallery. I might send all the families a preview just because it's so nice and they share it with others. And I, it has my logo, my name on it, so it's good advertisement. Um, but yeah, it's working really well. I love the bonus background with the little bench. Um, I should have more Christmas lights in the back, like it stops pretty high in the photo. Uh, but it's just a bonus background. So I mean the main background is this one, the other one is just an extra one. And then, so now I'm waiting for two teenage boys uh, and their baby sister. So that's gonna be fun. For me, it's not about doing as many, many sessions as possible. It's about doing something fun every year uh, around Christmas for just a few families. And then uh, next year, different families again. Um, so yeah, I'm not planning 10 or 20 sessions in one or two days. I'm just keeping it fun for myself as well. I could have done five or 10 more today. That's how I feel right now, but it's still a lot of editing as well. Okay, so that was it for the Christmas mini today. I didn't film for every family, but I thought it would be fun to show you some snips and bits of the behind the scenes. Um, I don't have that many tips and tricks to share today, except for turn on some Christmas music, put some cookies out, maybe some bottles of water um, to make people feel comfortable, tell them to be on time, uh, confirm once more, let them pay in advance. Um, let them dress up the kids before they come here and uh, have fun. Make sure you have some wooden toys or something to play with for some of the kids to make them feel more comfortable. Um, don't rush because you don't need to rush. 20 minutes is long enough and I schedule 30 minutes for every family. So there's 10 minutes in between and there's plenty of time. Um, so none of the families have met each other. Like no one ran late, no one came really early. So that worked really well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. And then you can see me in my next video. Merry Christmas! <laughs>